Hi YouTube, welcome to my wife's channel. Um, we wanted to do a, a final, this is our final resting place video for the Sound Touch 300, which was, well, which is essentially the 700 without Alexa. This is the first uh, Sound Touch uh, sound bar that was came out in 2016. Um, so this is the final rest place. Uh, we're putting it in our bedroom. This was in our family room. Uh, was connected to the uh, Acoustic Master 300 and the surround sound uh, speakers. Um, I'm going to just say this. Um, this woofer, I mean, I'm sorry, this sound bar is pretty good. But I'm going to be honest with you, this needed a lot of help. Uh, I had this on all day. I really try to uh, observe it and listen to it. Uh, it sounds better when you airplane it through music, but when you have it connected to a TV... Uh, it sounds okay, um, but to this defense of this sound bar, the 900, you really can't compare it to the 900. This technology was came out in 2016. Bose had five years to develop and improve their sound bar. This is one of their first wireless sound bars uh, that was connected to a woofer and a surround sound speaker. So I must say that the... the Acoustic Master uh, 300 uh, subwoofer and the sound uh, surround sound speakers really helped this bar out because I got it's nothing connected to this in our bedroom. We don't necessarily need a subwoofer up here. The kind of family that we are, me and my wife, we usually use this TV to go to sleep off of. This is not a, where we want to thump in a lot of surround sound like like what we have in our basement and in our family room. So this is just strictly the sound bar. So it's not really fair to compare this to the 900 because you're talking about technology that was five years old. Now, let me say this. We had got previous comments as far as EARC and EARC and ARC. Now, our TVs are pretty uh, older. These TVs that we purchased were in 2016 and 2017. This is the Sony uh, 930D. Uh, uh, 55 inch uh, in the, in the uh, family room which is legendary we have the Z9D and in, uh, in the uh, basement we have the 940E which is a baby Z9D which is a very good TV as well and all of these TVs have ARC technology they don't have EARC, EARC is pretty new um, but let me just say this to you I advise you the camera on me, I advise you guys when you get uh any Bose product, as far as the sound bars, the 900, 300, and 700, the lifestyle, do not use the HDMI cable that comes with it. It's a really bad cable. Um, I know if you call Bose up and they'll say it's, it's functional, works, it's designed for the system, but for you to get the best quality out of your sound bar or lifestyle, you want to invest in a cord. Like I, we mentioned in previous videos, what we generally do is we add 40% of the cost of whatever we're spending or, or sometimes 50% on cords. So let me give you an example. So the HDMI cord that we have connected to the TV here is the Carbon Audio Quest. Now, we have the, the Carbon 48 on the 900. Now, the difference between the two, this is equipped for eARC. Now, being as though all of the TVs are ARC, I wanted to go with the eARC because I wanted to go with a newer core, newer technology, um, and more bandwidth, even though the TV doesn't only support ARC. Um, but this is on a 900. Now, this is the lowest tier HDMI cord that I carry in the entire house. I usually do vodka and above. So, for the family room, I have the Carbon 48. How much is that? This retails between uh, three or four hundred bucks. I'm not quite sure on pricing. Mm. Um, but in the lifestyle, I have a coffee, which has D, uh, DPS. Uh, I'm sorry, DPS. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Forgive me. But that's a higher end. That's right underneath Diamond for us in the Audio Quest line. Carbon is more like the lower tier cable that I use. It's, it's very good. It has five percent silver, but it can transmit, and you'll get very good sound. So I always advise people, do not use these HDMI cables that come with Bose. They're not that good. Um, I wanted to also tell you that one of the things I did like going back to the 900, and I mentioned this in previous videos, 
when you have this sound sound bar, the 300, you only can use a, a, a sound touch app. And when you go into sound touch app, I wanted to show you that when you go into speaker settings, um, let me see here. You only can control the center channel, center level. When you go into the 900, which is the Bose Music app, you go into audio, you can control you can control the center channel, has the height channel, and you have the has a bass like, like what I mentioned, and you also have the trouble. Now of course you can use the you know the surround sound speakers and the, the bass module, but this tells you how much technology has grown, being as though that this here you want to control the center channel on a 900, even if it's not connected to the bass module or the speakers, you have all those options as far as in that bar. So it's not really fair to compare the two. I know we've got comments saying, what do you think the comparison? It's not really fair because this technology is five years old. Bose had five years to develop and maximize their technology and, 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 and make a significant amount of improvements as far as a new sub, a uh, new um uh, uh, sound bar um, but it's pretty good it's okay I'm gonna tell you the 300 really needed a needs help to really get a nice good decent decent high quality sound you need to get a uh, uh accessory so if you had the the 300 you really need the bass and the surround sound speakers to really really have a good experience with it it's okay it serves it serves serves a bowl. Um, for the bedroom, like I say, we don't really need a lot of woofer. We don't. We mainly use this TV to go to sleep off of. It's serving its purpose it's up service, here. It's, it's serving its purpose up here. So I would give this as average, a hairline above average from the TV speakers. Um, it plays music more better. Of course, so if I'm airplaying, I'm airplaying music now. So it sounds better if I'm airplaying music. But if I'm connected to the TV, it just sounds a little bit better than the TV. Not not nothing to knock your socks off. So, again, if you go have a Bose, um, anything Bose, you want to invest in Audio Quest. Audio Quest is the best of the business. That's all they do. Their strength is audio cables and HDMI cables. They're the best of the business. Like I said, uh, in our TVs, I have Thunderbird, which is right underneath the, uh, this, like, level five. Um, they go up to a level six. I have Thunderbird downstairs in the basement for the PlayStation, the Xbox, and everything else, and coffee. And like I said, carbon is the lowest, the lowest tier that I use. But it's it's better, way, way better than the HDMI cables that come with this. So that is my conclusion. This is the final resting place for the SoundTouch 300. This is the final place where it retired. It did service as well for the past five years. Um, it did its job. Again, you definitely need the supporting cast to really have it, really enjoy it. But for it by itself, it, ser it, ser it does its service its purpose by itself for a bedroom for a bedroom yeah yep well like comment subscribe to my channel let me know what you guys think and let me know what other videos you guys would like for us to make we will probably do a video on cords by itself if people you know they have an issue they're wondering why when they get their product home it doesn't sound like what they thought it would sound a lot of times it is specifically because of the cords same thing with the tv the cords makes the tvs as well thank you